I do get affected when people talk about my weight, uh, people talk about my appearance, but what I realize is it's slowly chipping into my self-confidence. Hello. Hi. Hello. How would you describe your mental health right now? Oh my lord, I would say below average. I think it's because I've, like, I've been having trouble sleeping for like the longest time ever. That really kind of affects everything. Also like the lack of motivation or self-drive. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, no, I don't want. Puyao. Puyao. How do you say sleep in Chinese? But I think that's also kind of tied to sleep, so. I describe my mental health as a one out of 10 for the past year or so. I haven't been feeling like myself. One of the biggest ones was my eating disorder coming back. That wasn't fun, being anorexic and bulimic again. You can call it a relapse lah, basically. So that's what I have been experiencing. Aside from other issues, I do get affected when people talk about my weight, uh, people talk about my appearance. But I mean, this is something that me as somebody who's in social media um, is bound to experience lah. What I realise is it's slowly chipping into my self-confidence. Have you ever been to therapy? So I had therapy, but I think the last time I had therapy was like two to three years ago. It was very difficult, like for the start, the, the whole stigma on like mental health is a, is a thing. Going to see some stranger and telling them like your problems or like how to solve something. A bit uncomfortable to like, you know, just put your foot in. It did help a lot like with trying to view things from a different perspective. It's like an outsider's point of view. They get to see things or actually show you that there are other ways of doing things. I have been to therapy many, many, many times, many, many years ago. I felt like during that time, I resolved my issues. Mental health is not something that, you know, you can cure, but there were coping mechanisms that my therapist, my psychiatrist and all that gave me that I felt like I was equipped enough to, you know, um, sail through life for the past few years. More recently, life has been harder and those coping mechanisms are not working as well. Today, we'll be sending you to try hypnotherapy for the first time. What therapy? Like the... the <laughs> that one? I actually heard of hypnotherapy from an episode of Friends, the one that he was trying to quit smoking. But maybe I do have a different perception of what hypnotherapy is. I'm excited to find out. Hopefully, I don't get into like this whole trance where I spill all my secrets because this is gonna be on camera. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jab. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist here in Novena Medical Center. So I practice what we call hypnosis or clinical hypnosis. I work with both behavior issues such as kicking a bad habit like smoking or starting a new habit like working out regularly. And then we go to a darker side where it's a bit more heavy like trauma. So essentially hypnosis is the process of communication between the conscious and the subconscious part of your mind. Your conscious mind is up here. It's your analytical, questioning, thinking part of you. The part of you right now that is actively listening to the sound of my voice, analyzing all the words that I'm saying to make sense of it all. And there's this part of you called your subconscious, which is your automatic or autonomic part of your mind. It's the part of you that is responsible for blinking or breathing, and beating your heart. It's also the part of you that is responsible for your emotions creativity, habits and discipline. And every night when you go to sleep, these two states, they swap places very slowly. Before they go all the way, they meet in the middle. Now this is where your mind is in that gray area, where you're not fully awake, you're not fully asleep yet. You're in between those two states. It becomes more open, more sensitive to ideas and suggestions. This is hypnosis, that's where we work. So technically, everyone goes into hypnosis every single night at the very age of sleep, right before you enter sleep. So today, I'm going to see two clients and I'm really excited. I can't wait and I, I look forward to meeting them. Hi. Hello. I'm nice Rainer. Rainer, I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. Please have a seat. Okay. How are you feeling today? Kind of nervous because I haven't been to therapy for a while. So you have gone through therapy? The normal one. No. <laughs> I mean, the, in the layman terms, yes. he was asking questions. It was very much like how I felt during therapy. For myself, I'm not really a talker, but he made me feel welcomed and at ease. So what are you hoping to get from, or gain from hypnotherapy? I think a lot of my anxiety and depression stemmed 
from my difficulty in accepting my body, um, feeling not good enough. A lot of it is body dysmorphia as well. At one point, I lost so much weight and I think it's kind of dangerous when people say, wow, he looks so good when he's thin, you know? Looking back or in retrospect, that isn't the most healthiest thing. I always tell people this, I'm an emotional eater. The normal thing is if you're sad, you eat. But mine is the whole spectrum of emotions. There's always food involved. What do you think of using hypnosis to help with your condition? Or... I mean, I'm here, right? Try and hopefully it does something to my psyche. But so, easier said than done. Well, that's the hypnosis. When you say things like that, it's easier said than done. You're literally limiting yourself. So this is where we start, right? So repeat after me. I'm open to change. I'm open to change. I don't, I don't feel convinced. So say that again, but <coughs> say that in a manner that you are already there, as if you actually mean it. I'm open to change. What do you want to change? I want to change my relationship with food. I want to change the way I look at myself. Right now, let's say this is the new you. When you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you say? You are confident, you are happy, you are healthy, and you're a rock star. <laughs> of course, I'll translate all this into hypnotic language. And let's do some solid hypnosis, shall we? Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Rhino, do you have a favorite color? Favorite color is black. It's the most slimming color. Hmm. And when you go on a holiday to relax, what kind of holiday would you prefer? Even though I don't like the sun, I like the beach. You don't like the sun, but you, you enjoy going to the beach. During the session itself, feel free to adjust. If you need to scratch, if you feel that you, you need to move and adjust, feel free to do so. I'm not in control of you. Not yet, at least. Okay. I'm just kidding, by the way. <laughs> right. So, Reiner, in your own time, you can just allow your eyes to close, sit back, and relax. So, Reiner, in this comfortable position, with your eyes closed, just concentrate your thoughts and your feelings on your breathing. Just be aware of your breath coming in and going out. Easily, comfortably, and naturally. The sound of my voice is the most important sound that you hear. Your mind is free to drift and wander. So above all, you know that you are safe and in a safe place because hypnosis is always good to you and always good for you. So right now, Reiner, by using your creative mind, perhaps you can imagine yourself being in a place where you truly can relax. Maybe you can imagine yourself being in a beautiful resort, a nice, beautiful resort by the beach. This is the very state where both parts of your mind unite in harmony. So I welcome you into this comfortable state of deep relaxation. Welcome into this deep hypnotic sleep, Rhino. Eventually, right, you know, after asking the questions, we went into the hypnotherapy straight on. It felt very relaxing. Actually, I fell asleep. Lah. <laughs> but right before I slept, I was trying to focus on the words that he was saying. He was visualizing, like you can see the words in in the air kind of thing. This very ability of making healthier decisions that would benefit the quality of your life, the quality of your health for your mind and body is completely at your command. Breakfast, lunch and dinner becomes clearer and therefore the healthy and nutritious foods that you choose to eat for breakfast satisfies your mental and physical capacity. You are developing a healthier relationship with food. And so when you do slow down, Reiner, you'll notice that it's interesting how you recognize what is necessary eating versus unnecessary eating. So I would like to take this moment now, Reiner, to just congratulate you for having made this beneficial decision to renew your relationship with food, you'll realize that you are feeling happier and more relaxed. Every time you look at yourself in the mirror, you see someone who is strong, confident, healthier, fitter, and happier. And you feel kinder to yourself with improved relationship with food every single day. So Reiner, I would like to thank your subconscious mind for giving you this unique opportunity to rest and relax. 
and enjoy this deep hypnotic sleep. So right before I knocked out, right, what I heard was his voice, obviously, and also the white noise that he was playing in the background. So he was playing wave sounds, bird sounds, very nature sounds. Lah. And I guess that helped me, made me so relaxed that I just let go. Okay, I'm not somebody that will easily let go and let somebody control the environment. Yeah, so that was quite freeing for me. The next thing I knew was he was counting down and he will wake up in three, two, one. Easily coming up in one, two, three, almost there, Rhino. Four and five. One, two, three, four and five. Good morning, sunshine. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> How are you feeling? Feel so... Feel relaxed? Yeah. Yeah? It was literally like <laughs> what you said. I feel like my mind is kind of clear right now. Yeah, Even, especially during the, during the session, like just focusing on your voice. Yes. Thank you so much for um, having me and oh. having me as a your test subject. <laughs> oh, you're most welcome. It's a, it's a pleasure working with you. You're, you're a very easy person to talk to. Hi. Hello. Sean, pleasure to meet you. Je nice to meet you. Just Please sit here. Seat. All yes. right. Hello, Sean. Hello. How are you feeling today? Nervous. I, I don't know what I expect, honestly. Have you heard of the term hypnosis or hypnotherapy? Yes, I, I've actually gone on Spotify for that. Oh, you yeah, have? I actually oh. have like for sleep and whatnot. Was that initially just for sleep or for other stuff as well? I think it was mostly for sleep. Like mm -hmm. I used to have a lot. Well, I still have a lot of sleep issues, okay. but that did help from time to time. So what would you like to work on? I think there's like mainly two things as of late. I would say consistent uh, drive, self-drive or motivation mm. is one of the things I would like to look at. And another would be getting that deep sleep <laughs> you talk about. Well, I mean, it's been happening for a very long time and I just kind of got used to it, but like it's very interrupted or disturbed sleep. What's your usual sleep quality like? Sometimes I, okay, like the rare occasions I don't get sleep. Normally I would say five hours and I try to sleep like early, like 11, like latest 12. Okay. I'm like, okay, I'm super tired. Yeah. My body's gonna be like, oh, you know, you're gonna sleep in. You know, I wake up at like eight. I'm like, ha, huh? like, why? <laughs> if you like, we can, we can explore that. Mm. What exactly do you feel that you lack motivation in? Progression with myself. Progression? Yeah, because sometimes I feel like I put in a lot of effort to, to try and better myself. I guess sometimes also the, the results don't come as fast which is fine, but like in periods where I don't really get to rest proper. So it's kind of like, you know, a vicious cycle. So this is what I would like to um, propose each morning when you wake up. Go to your mirror and look at yourself dead in the eye. And you say this, today is going to be a good day. I know it sounds cliche. No, no, I think it's good. Right? No, I think it's a good it's practice, a, honestly. It's, when you say that, you're communicating the right messages for your day to start. You're literally hypnotizing yourself. That's self-hypnosis. That's how you hypnotize yourself to always have a good day. I think that's a good note to conclude and go into hypnosis with. Would you like to explore that in hypnosis? Yeah, sure. Whenever you're ready, you can just allow your eyes to close, sit back and breathe. When the lights kind of dim, I was like, okay, this is gonna get serious, right? And I got a blanket and everything. I was quite excited, but also nervous because like, whenever I did that, like on Spotify or YouTube, it was like, you know, there, was, there wasn't anyone actually there. But then now to actually have someone addressing uh, the root of the issue, actually be there to speak and like address specific doubts or problems that I may have, to actually help put me into hypnosis is actually quite nerve wracking. It felt like I was breathing very loudly, but it was only in my head and my heart was like beating at the start, especially when I slowly like went into the trance. It was very loud and rapid. And then after a while, I started getting a bit more calm along with the waves. Welcome into this deep hypnotic sleep, Sean. You are able to and do feel and be more motivated, more driven, more excited, prioritizing the right activities making the right decisions, going to bed at the right time, being consistent becomes clearer and easier and more meaningful, building stronger relationship with your subconscious mind so you understand yourself better, you respect yourself better and therefore you love yourself even more each and every day. 
especially during moments when you catch yourself overthinking and all that you have to do is to simply pause and take three deeper breaths. The more it progressed, the more relaxed I felt, like with the way he was saying things, the things he was addressing. And then the whole session, like I kind of felt like I was slowly like losing sense of like, I couldn't feel my body. Does that sound weird? I think that sounds kind of weird, but like, I couldn't really feel the weight of my hands. Yeah, okay, there we go. The only things I was just like aware of, because he, he kept saying like, oh, focus on your breathing, you know, notice how this, that, da, 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 it goes with the waves. And I'm like, okay. Then slowly, like, I tried to make it like a conscious thing, but after a while, it became like subconscious. It was just like along with the waves, along with the way he says things. And I was like, oh, wow. It became like second nature. Everything within you is telling you, let's keep going. And so you do. And it's quite natural that with increased quality of exercise, it leads to having better regulation of endorphins. It leads to having natural quality sleep every single night. Because when your mind is calm and your body is relaxed, as you are right now, sleep comes easily to you. Each and every night, your sleep, Sean, is deeper and deeper and more undisturbed. And so, each and every morning, feeling and being brighter, fresher, awake, aware and alert, with natural enthusiasm, instinctively you feel that there is an urge, a desire, to be kinder to yourself. So in the coming days, you will notice that naturally, that even your body language is more relaxed, and you're using more open gestures, when you do feel all these wonderful changes in the coming days, weeks and months, all that you have to do is to simply embrace it, welcome it and enjoy it. And on that note, I would like to thank your subconscious mind, Sean, for giving you this wonderful, unique opportunity to rest and relax. Towards the end of the session, he said like, I'm going to start counting down. Oh, counting. So at one, and then like, I felt like my heartbeat get faster because I was very, very relaxed. Like, um, I, I kind of didn't want to lose that feeling of being light. So he said two, and then my heartbeat got faster. And then like, you know, my breathing got a bit deeper. Once he got to five, I was like, okay, I got to kind of wake up from this. One, two, three, four, and five. Easily come back to me, Sean. Anytime you're ready, you can just slowly allow your eyes to open. And take a deep breath and easily rear into your eyes back to the room. Good morning, Sean. Welcome back. Morning. The colors changed, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so I opened up my eyes. The, the place was purple now, but I felt a bit more energized or a bit more optimistic with regards on how to deal with the things that I mentioned. Apparently, I twitched. Okay, no, I, I was aware that I twitched, but I didn't know why I twitched. I felt like my, my foot twitched. And I was like, what's going on? But it didn't bother me that much. And then only after the session, um, he brought it up like, oh, you know, you, you were twitching. And I was like, mm, you, you all weren't supposed to see that. It was kind of weird. How do you feel? Feel good? Feel relaxed? Yeah, I feel... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel good. I feel yeah. really, really good. I feel lighter. It does feel like starting off the day right would change a lot of things. Yeah, I just think that's a really, really important thing for me to try. Oh, absolutely. Well, uh, let's conclude on that note, shall we? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, okay. man. Okay. Really appreciate it. <laughs> How was the session? I'm a changed man. Okay, no, but really, 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 it was, it was an experience. Like, if, it, if you've ever been through therapy, I think hypnotherapy was something similar, but yeah, I can't, I can't put it into words, but I feel different, like different, different. Can't wait to go back and sleep, like finally. Okay, so I went into hypnotherapy trying to, you know, do something about my eating disorder and how I look at myself in the mirror, right? Okay, so this is one week later, um, and I actually, notice a little bit of difference. Obviously, I didn't suddenly become skinny, right? That is not part of therapy. But for this past week, I felt like I was looking at the food a little bit differently. Obviously, I still love food. The past nights, even though like there was food available, I consciously avoided it. And also, I realized that 
I stopped giving myself negative energy in the mid in, in the morning. I, I felt good, neutrally good. Does that make sense? There were things that I thought hypnotherapy was. It's also in the name itself, it's therapy, but using hypnosis. So it's not like you hip, you get hypnotized, then you, you spill all your secrets, you give the doctor your password or not, and all that. It's really different kind of therapy. Um, I would say this therapy is much more enjoyable than my normal therapy because like I said, I don't like to talk. And normal therapy, you pour your heart out, you pour so much emotion and it gets so tiring. But this one is, you just relax and it's all up to your subconscious. I cannot say that it's for real. Subconscious is such a big thing and you know, maybe it's just a placebo effect. But then again, placebo is about tricking your mind into doing things. This experience itself actually opened up my eyes a bit more because like therapy was like, you know, something that was stigmatized, I guess. Now there are like other options. If you don't find that therapy itself is beneficial to you, you can try things like hypnotherapy, for example, that was really an experience. And I think there's also like that sensory deprivation pod kind of thing as well that helps you with meditation. So that's quite interesting. I do advise anyone who's willing to give it a try, you know, don't be shy. Would you go for hypnotherapy? I will say yes, but also in conjunction with the traditional therapy. Um, this is something that I feel can be a good supplement. I feel like hypnotherapy is very much a passive thing. The traditional one is you take these certain steps, right? And to make everything effective, you need both. If I really feel like, you know, other options weren't working, perhaps I would, I would actually give it another shot. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to find out more about hypnotherapy, you can check out the description box below. And if you want us to try other alternative therapies, you can comment down below as well and let us know. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye!